Luke, you ever been to Redbridge? Balsam Creek? Jeez. Holy sheez, did that ever scare the crap out of me. Woo! <laughs> wow! Mountainous goosebumps on that one! Woo! You scared the crap out of me, dude. Oh! <laughs> Some creeps, some creeps, some creeps. Welcome to Optimal Frequency, I'm Grant. I talk to spirits here at my house using various methods. Mostly a method that I developed I use up at the sink, but today I'm gonna to go back to the Spirit Box, the Hack Shack app, which I haven't used in quite a while. Uh, it's a cold day outside, I don't feel like doing anything outside. All my chores are done. So I wanna experiment with this. Um, I get some good communication with this. I'm gonna go back over the past couple of sessions I did maybe, ask some questions about Davy Crockett, see if we can get some answers on that. And also Gary's been bothering me to, um, he did a session on a missing fella, young fella from this area, Luke Jolly. Okay, and I said I would never touch that case, but Gary's been bothering me for a couple of weeks now to A, watch a couple of videos he did, which I have not watched, uh, and then B, do a session. So I'm gonna ask a couple of questions on that just to see what comes through. And uh, I may or may not do a session on that. Uh, it's a little too close to home and not sure I want to get involved in that, but let's see what comes through, so let's get into it. Hey, after much ado, I got it set up and working. I had it plugged into the wrong port on the computer. Are you spirits here with us? Can you say hello? Try and speak as clearly as you can, okay? Who wants to connect with me? Weird little sound. Can you say hello? Who did I do the last session on? Can you say his name, please? He was famous for, for hunting these. I'm going to ask my team right now, since he came through for the last session, can you bring him forward again to further the experiment? You told me you had a struggle at the Alamo. What was that? What were you trying to tell me about wearing your boots, sleeping in your boots, and then walking down to the creek? See, I did hear you when you spoke to me last session, and I got that message. I'm getting lots of shivers on my neck right now. Who else died with you at the Alamo? He was famous for using a big knife. I was going to ask him to come through too and maybe do a session on him. Do you think my spirit team could contact him? You know who I'm talking about. He has a very famous knife named after him. Can you say the name of the famous knife fighter who died at the Alamo?
Here's his name. Can you say it? Did he prefer the name James or Jim? Is this what you look like? Nothing, eh? Can I talk to Davy Crockett again? This app takes forever. What did you mean when you said you wore your boots while you slept? Is that what you look like, David Crockett? I thought the first thing that it said was not sure. But I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and check it. Am I talking to David Crockett right now? You coming through on this box? him <laughs> you know that guy can I speak to him was he friends with this guy did this guy also wear his boots while he slept I'm sure it was ferocious fighting. David, you told me that it was not a joke and that it was the truth that you had killed like 16 opponents or enemies on the field of battle before they got you. Lots of shivers down my neck. How did you feel about General Santa Ana? Let's see, that picture he has no mustache. This picture, he has a mustache. Did he have a mustache when he when you fought him at the Alamo? When he fought his men. Another picture where he has no mustache. You probably never got to see him in battle, correct? Because he would send in his foot soldiers and all the recruits. And he'd sit back. Is that right? Can you give me like a full sentence with this box? Most of the responses seem to be like one or two words. shivers down my arms. What I did was I envisioned taking some energy, shh, putting it into a ball here and pushing it towards a phone that they could use it, and then that response came out. And have that, and have that, and have that. Okay, so new topic here, because Gary's been bugging me the last few weeks. I guess he did a couple of sessions on this fella, Luke Jolly. I wasn't going to do this, but
Can my spirit team bring in a Luke if he wants to talk about this? Gary wanted me to confirm some things. Okay, what do you want to tell us, Luke? It's a fellow that went missing from this area. Did you die because uh, because you had a kiss from a girl or you liked a girl? Somebody was jealous? Bringing in the energy again. Tell me about where you died. Super, super burning down the backs of my arms and the back of my head. It's more than shivers. Come through the box and tell us. If you want to. I haven't watched Gary's video, so I have no idea. What's this? New eyewitness testimony and... There we go. New eyewitness testimony about who killed Luke and the corroboration from other eyewitnesses that this aforementioned witness was at the Sherbrooke Street apartment the night he disappeared. Larger reward, new information, breathe hope into a Jolly de Rocher case. It's now a $50,000 reward. If they figure out who murdered you, I guess. Were you murdered? And then buried? Your apartment. Gonna move on if you just don't come through the box. You're not really getting too many answers here from you. Did you want my help with this? Or stay out of it? Could I do a water based session on you, Luke? Would you come through that easier? Hello. Don't know what it just said, but that was a scammer on the phone. Your Bell Internet's going to be terminated today. I don't have Bell Internet. Yeah, it's me. I'm trying to contact Luke Jolie like you asked me to do with the hack shack there. So, kind of getting some answers, not really. Um, tell you what, you type up 12 questions. I'm not going to ad lib. I'm not going to ask anything of my own. You ask the 12 questions you want. Send it to me in my email. I'll go to the sink, run a water session, and I'll ask your questions and see what kind of answers we get. Okay, talk to you later. Well, I'm not seeming to get too many answers here, so let's see. I'm going to ask a few more questions. We'll see if we can get some more solid answers with this. And then if Gary gets back to me, I'll do a water session on him. Can you use this? Can you use this pyramid I made to get some energy? I'm going to set it on my coffee cup here. How's the pyramid here? Is it going to help with some energy? 
Yeah. Just, oh, bring it, pull it down and sh over to the phone. I'm getting shivers all down the backs of my arms here. Were you murdered? Was Luke murdered? How many people murdered you, Luke? Luke, you ever been to Redbridge? Balsam Creek? Cheers. Holy sheez, did that ever scare the crap out of me. Whoo! <laughs> Holy, wow! <laughs> Mountainous goosebumps on that one! <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> you scared the crap out of me, dude. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Dude, if you can come through that strong, can you just tell us what you need to tell us? I'm here to help you. Do you want me to do a water session where you can come through and answer Gary's questions? I told them to write up 12 questions for you. Would that be okay? Hello? Uh, did you watch the video on my channel? No. Okay, well, don't watch the video on my channel because it'll bias what you hear when you ask your questions. I sent you 12 questions. Okay, well, it's going to be a, probably a couple days before I get to it or whatever, but I'm doing a session, this Hack Shack session right now. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> what, did, what did you get so far? Not much, as usual, but he scared the bejesus out of me at one point. I'm not sure what he said. I have to go back and analyze it. I was just about to do that. Did I mention to you parts of what was in my thing? You mentioned a few parts, so that's why... Okay, here's the two things that I think I know about it. You said it was over a girl. Um, a group of people killed him, but it started out as not being that, and then it just went too far. And then uh, it was like the guy was jealous that killed him. It was in front of a red brick building. I don't know, they said something about... I'm thinking based on something you said here that was like 3 in the morning. Uh, other than that, I don't really know anything. I don't know anything about time, but uh, anyway, I've sent you a dozen questions, and yeah, what you're saying there is pretty much what I know. I know a few extra things there that I won't mention. It's all in my video, so when you're done your session, go back, watch my video, and then if you get anything that lines up from your session that lines up with my video, you might want to put that together just to show that two different people in two different places at two different times got corresponding answers, which I'm sure we will. I have no doubt that we're going to get corresponding answers. I don't even know what you're going to ask. So, like I say, it's going to be a couple of days before I get to it. I'm just going to finish up this Hack Shack session. Okay, well, questions are sent, man, and my thing is done, so you can, you'll have them. And there's also a W5 thing which you should download on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, CTV News, W5, Luke Duroshie, and it's about 24 minutes. When you're done all of your stuff, watch that as well, because it'll give you an insight into it as well. Yeah. Okay, i got to get back to this. Yep, later. Later.